Hi guys, welcome to Pilates Mat. My name is Kari, um, Kariography, it's K-A-R-I, and I'm so happy to have you today. We are gonna be working on the mat that's behind me. Um, hi everyone, hi, glad to have you here. Great, so glad you're joining. If you're new to Pilates, um, there's a few things that you need to know. There's two points that can be a little sensitive in your body um, when you're on the mat. One is your neck, and one is your lower back. Um, so when you're back on the mat, I've got two things that you wanna remember. One is a small towel. You can take that behind your head and use that kind of like a hammock, I say as a hammock, and you can use that to support your neck if you need it. Don't have to have it, but it's a good tool, so take that back with you. The other thing is to take your hands and layer them behind your low back. You never wanna feel any pressure on those two points, and I'll remind you as we're going back to the mat to use those two things as a tool. All right, so just remember Pilates was meant to heal the spine and not to stress the spine. So if you feel any of that pressure as we go back to the mat, make sure you take it as it goes. Pilates is a super athletic workout. I'm an athlete myself, so don't take it as um, just a stretch class. This is gonna be a really great workout. I'm excited to bring it to you. All right, I have my weights back on the mat that are six pounds, but they might get a little heavy. So I also have my uh, cans of beans that I'm gonna take back and I might get to those as well. So let's pop back on the mat. We're gonna get started. Ah, I dropped my beans. Um, we're gonna get started. And I would like you to lay back flat on your mat in what we call supine position. And we're just gonna roll for it, all right? So come on back with me. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all. Can't see you all individually, but come on back. And we're gonna lay down, fully extended with your arms all the way over your head and your legs long. And just with Pilates, breathing is really important as with any exercise, right? Breath is obviously life giving, so if you're not doing it, you're not living. So breathe in through your nose and then fully exhale out through your mouth. Now you're gonna hear me say breathing a lot, but you're not gonna hear me actually doing the breathing because I'll be doing the talking to you. So just keep breathing in through your nose and you'll hear me do a few exhales. Now as you're breathing, I want you to notice this natural curve of your back that's off the mat for now. You're all individual, you'll all come with different curvatures of your spine, but we're gonna go ahead and take another inhale. On this exhale, hug your right leg towards your chest and notice how that natural curve goes away. In Pilates, we call imprinting or pressing your back ribs and spine into the mat to try to engage the core as you pull your belly down to your spine and up towards your ribs. Now inhale again, reach your arms long, extend your toes long, see how much length you can get through the spine. And as you inhale again through your nose and exhale, hug your left leg to your chest. Pull it in, try to press your back ribs back down into the ground and see if you can lengthen your right leg a little longer on your mat. Now take another inhale and on your exhale, see if you can reach those arms a little longer, reach your toes a little longer. Take another inhale on this exhale, as you take your right leg, take your chin to your chest, bring your nose up to your knee, see if you can scoop your belly out, pull your belly button down and try to really get a deep engagement through your core. Now reach your arms over again, inhale. On your exhale, fingertips go long, toes reach long, and a little more length each time. Inhale again, exhale, take your left leg, tuck your chin to your chest, bring your nose to your knee, open your elbows wide, try to reach your right leg longer, and you'll feel again a deep engagement all the way through your core. Now reach your arms again long, reach your toes again long, lengthen all the way out, and we should have a little more length here again. All right, my friends, we're gonna take our right leg in to a tabletop position. Our left leg into tabletop position. And we're gonna start warming up the body in Pilates, we call it a 100. We're gonna take hold of our right thigh, our left thigh, open up through the collarbone, deep inhale through your nose, and in your exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, 
pull your body up using your arms. Get active here. Scoop your belly up. Now your chin should be about two to three fingers away from your chest. Crown of the head all the way up. Extend your legs. Now, if you're really experienced, go ahead and bring those legs down. But starting here, we're going to start to pump the heels together. Nice and long through your legs. Make sure there's no pressure through your neck. Now, you're not all the way up with that back off the ground. We want to scoop the belly out and get those back ribs connected to your mat. Continue pumping through your heels. And the breath is coming. Breathing in through your nose. Exhale, breathe out through your mouth. So again, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. For the more advanced, you can go ahead and let those legs go and reach your legs out long. Again, breathe in through your nose. Exhale, breathe out through your mouth. One more round. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, breathe out through your mouth. Hug your legs, rest your head. All right, that's a way to get the blood pumping all the way through your body. It gets the heart rate up a little bit, and we're going to use the arms on the next round. For now, inhale again. Reach your arms out. Hold those legs in for a moment, though. Take another inhale. Take your hands by your hamstrings again. Tuck your chin down to your chest. Bring your crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Extend your legs. Release your hands. Palms face down towards the floor. Open the collarbone and start to pump your arms. As you breathe in through your nose again, exhale out through your mouth. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Shh. Try it again, breathe in. Now, if you find this too much for your head and neck, let your hands come behind, and this is where you can pump your heels here. So if you find it too much, we don't want any stress, remember, for your neck. So go ahead and pump here. If you find it too much for your legs, let your head come down, take your hands underneath your back, and go ahead and pump the legs here. All right, so lots of modifications if you need that. So we've got lots of choices. Pump, shh those arms. Keep going for it. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, breathe out through your mouth. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale up. Hug your legs and rest your head down. Now, roll the shoulders back down. Look over your left shoulder for a full stretch. We want the cheek to come all the way down so we get a good range of motion. Look up to the ceiling. Take your cheek all the way down to the right. Look back to your center. Reach your arms all the way over. Get a big extension. Reach your left leg long. Reach your right leg long. And just get that big inhale again that we started with and exhale. See how much length you can get again. All right, my friends, next move we're moving on is to a roll up. Our fingertips are gonna go right to the ceiling. Take another breath in through your nose and as you exhale, try to pull your belly button down to your spine, up towards your ribs, and we're gonna scoop the belly up. Now flex out through your heels. Try to make a connection with your hamstrings and one vertebra at a time, we're gonna tuck the chin to the chest and very smoothly roll up, pulling the belly back, lengthening over the toes. And then slowly, we roll down, connecting one at a time through the vertebra. Fingertips to ceiling, roll up, scoop your belly out, pull back. See if you can get a little bit more length over the toes this time. Roll down again. Now, if you're having trouble with this, and if you feel you can't get up, several options. You can bend at the knees, you can hold on and pull yourself up. Another tool you can use to help, I have a wall here. I'm going to use that to push against actively as I roll down, fingertips again to ceiling, not over. And as I come up, I have a reference point to push against, which helps me pull my belly back and I lengthen over my toes. So whatever you need to assist you, use it. Shh, use your breath. Inhale, exhale, roll up. I always tell the class that I use this as kind of spokes on a wheel so we hit one each time as we roll down. So it should be smooth, controlled, coming all the way down. We're gonna add some leg circles, my friends. Hands up, lift your right leg. 
take this right leg as we anchor our shoulders and hips and our left side stays quiet with the hands up, right leg is gonna come down, out to three, back up to 12, lower down to six, out to three, up to 12. Now the hands are just for an anchor point. One more time, circle around, leave your right leg up, switch your legs for a scissor. Anchor through your right leg, long, side of the body stays quiet, keep your arms long, shoulders release, drop your leg down to six, out to nine, sweep it back up to 12. Down to six, out to nine, back up to 12. Try it again. Circle around, up and in, and one more time, we circle around, and very nice job. You're gonna take the leg in, bring back in, and just look over the left shoulder again for a little bit of a stretch. Back up to the ceiling, and look over. Very nice. Extend both legs out. Let's try rolling up again, pulling the belly back. See if we can get a little bit more length this time, all the way over the toes. How far can we go? And rolling down. Fingertips, again, straight up to the ceiling. If we go over the head, what tends to happen is we throw the body. And we don't want to use momentum. You want to really rely on your core strength. Pulling the belly back, lengthening over the toes again, coming down. Now we are going to move on the last one into our ab series of five. This should be part of familiar class. Anyone who's done a Pilates class, there is a single leg stretch, a double leg stretch, a scissors, a lower lift, and a crisscross. And we'll move through those together. We're gonna start hugging our right leg in, bringing our nose to our knee, and our knee to our nose. Lift the left leg up, elbows wide. Now the first three exercises have no support for your head. This is where you may need your towel and you'll just do the leg exercises. If you can use the head, go for it. We're pulling our belly down, scooping out, big core control. Starting with single leg stretch, slowly. So we go one, and switch the leg. Switch, one, two. Now if you're prone to cramping, you can go ahead and flex your feet, or you can flex for a few and point for a few. Extend, elbows wide, continue scooping out your belly. You can have an inhale, and an exhale. Here, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Shh. Again, tuck your chin down, crown of the head reaching straight up. Your neck should be loose. Let's go a little quicker on these four. Eight, Shh. six, keep going. Four more, four, three. Now, double leg stretch, we hug both legs in. So, hug, arms out, legs out, circle just your arms to your shins. Inhale, exhale as you hug and take your shins. Inhale, arms reach, legs lengthen in, again. Inhale through your nose, exhale, hug, shh, your shins again. Inhale, exhale, circle, hug your shins. One more, inhale, arms out, legs out, good. Now reach your legs up, lift a little taller for scissors, we drop. Left leg, shh, right leg, left leg. Legs are long, kind of like two paintbrushes. You're trying to paint my wall over here. Shh. Now you can flex your feet again if you like. Two more, this pace. Now just a teeny bit quicker on your scissors. Four, eight, seven, four more. Very nice. Okay, my friends, take your legs together, heels together, open up to your toes. Hands now become behind your head. Let your head be heavy so the back of the neck can be soft. And we lift. Scooping out again through the belly. Legs lower, three, two, one, sweep on one. So we go, three, two, one, sweep on one, all right? If you need help, hands underneath your seat, head releases, three, two, one, here we go. Lower down, three, two, one, sweep it up. I'm showing the modification. Now, you don't have to go as low as I am going. You can simply take the legs, three, two, one, lift on one. Three, two, one, lift on one. Lower three, lower two, lower one. Reverse it, drop it down on one. Lift three, lift two, lift one. You can add the arms opening up. That's a really big move. Open, one more time, go three. Now bend your knees 90 degrees for a crisscross. We're gonna twist, twist, side to side. Twist. Now you're reaching all the way through your shoulder. We keep the elbows open and reach. Four more, three more, two, 
and one. Very nice. Rest down. Look over your left shoulder. Cheek comes all the way down. Full range of motion. Come back to the center. And look all the way over your right shoulder. Look back to the center. All right, my friends. We are going to rock to full position forward. And then we're going to go into a prone position. We're actually going to come all the way forward. So hands on the mat. I'd like you to walk your legs back and find yourself in a tight position. So just holding here for a moment. You're gonna tuck your elbows underneath you, come all the way down. Now, in Pilates, we are all about length. So what I'd like you to do is tuck your elbows underneath you. And we're gonna focus, before we go anywhere, on pulling the belly up away from the mat and creating a pocket of air here. A lot of times when we lift, we compress the spine and push the belly down. We're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna pull the belly away from the mat and make space. So lift the belly up before you do anything else. Get all of the toes lengthened on the mat, shoulders down, and I want you to think about lifting and lengthening before we move. So pull the belly up now, lift the legs and release. Chest is going to lengthen just a touch and release. Lift and lengthen the toes as well. So belly comes up. Your gaze is down to the mat. Now I know you want to look at the camera, but look straight down to the floor. Shh. Try it again. A few more. Lift the belly. Release. Try it again. Lift and lengthen. Shh. Release. Lift and lengthen. Release. Pull that belly up. Lift and lengthen. Release. So your belly, once again, pocket of air. Lift the legs and lengthen your chest. Shh. Release. Try just a few more here. Lift and lengthen. Shh. Release. And one more time. That's all we're doing. Take your toes on the mat. Hands on. Lift into a high plank. Shoulders down. Take your right leg for me. Lift. Point your toe. A few circles here. Small. Now, you remember those leg circles we did when we were on our back? Small circles here. Pilates is about the powerhouse. The powerhouse is considered the abs, back, and hope you guessed it, your glutes. Right here, right now. So squeeze your seat and circle this right leg around. Let's go four more. Squeeze three. If you need a modification, low forearms work perfectly fine. Take your right foot down. Pause a moment. I'm going to come back up. And I'm going to show you one more modification if you need it. Lift your left foot, point your toe, circle your left leg around. If you need any other mod, the wall will work fine as well. We can just circle the leg here as you're squeezing your seat. Squeeze as you circle. Squeeze. Just a few more. Keep your hips and shoulders square. Four more to go, my friends. Circle four. Circle three. Last two. Last one, left foot goes down. Shift your body back. Walk your toes slowly forward. Let your body hang a moment. The weight of the head fall forward, loosen the arms, and then slowly come up. All right, it is time to move on to your weight. Now, as I said, I do have six pounders here, which I'm gonna attempt to pick up for the first round, but they may leave my range. I'm gonna come into a very long lunge. If you ever peeked into a Pilates studio, you've probably seen something called a reformer. Shoulders, hips square, part of the powerhouse. Again, abs, back, and glutes. A reformer glides. We can't glide the reformer, so we're gonna get right into position. I'm gonna pick my weights up. My shoulders and hips are square. My powerhouse is so engaged right now. I'm gonna grab these weights and do a nice lat pull. Up and down, shh, up. Pull up. Now, where should we be feeling this work? I have a long, straight left leg pushing back. I am square shoulders over hips, zipped up through my belly. So my core or my powerhouse completely engaged. Pull. If you've ever peeked into that studio in Pilates, you have seen a lot of springs. 
Back in the war, Joseph Pilates used the beds for patients who needed to be reformed and couldn't get out of bed. So he used the springs to make them well. Or when they were laying down, used the equipment for them to be able to use. So that's where the springs come from. So when you are on the reformer, you'll see that there is resistance through this. So right now we're using weights, trying to recreate some of that work. Right now, you should be getting some great work through your front right glute as you pull these weights up. We're just gonna keep pulling up and up. I see a lot of fire. Let's go, pull three, pull two, pull one, release it, down, go again, pull three, Pull two, pull one, release it down. Few more, pull three, pull two, pull one, release it down. Pull up, go three and two and one. A lot of people don't realize Pilates is such an athletic workout. It really is, guys. Three, two, and one, release it down. Go again, lift three and two and one more time. Pull up three, two. Now what I'd like you to do is step forward with your left foot and simple bicep curl. Come in, come out. Now there's a soft bend to my knee. I'm gonna take this down to one weight because that's gonna get a little too heavy for me. Feel free to do the same. I might even switch over to my garbanzo beans in a moment. But sideways, I'm gonna show you and then I'll turn towards you. I have a soft bend to my knee. I'm zipped up tall through my belly because again, powerhouse, abs, back, glutes. From here, I was working in my right leg. I'm going to take the left leg off the ground because now we're about balance. Pull the arm in. Now, once again in Pilates, we refer to things proximal and distal. Closer to the body, the less the core has to work. The more we extend away from the body, the more the core has to work. So we are going to extend the arm, extend the leg. Extend the arm, extend the leg. Reach away, come back in. 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 You can do this, guys. There's a few more. Reach away. Now, your leg doesn't have to be high, but I'd love for it to be straight. Reach away, come back in. 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 Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one, bring it down, roll forward. Oh my. Take those weights down. Bring your hands down. Take your legs out. And you're gonna find out what the powerhouse is all about right here, walking your right foot, left foot, out and out. Walk right, walk left, out and out. So proud of you guys, you're doing an amazing work right here. Walk in, walk in. Now stay with me here. This is a tough one, but you've got it. Walk it in, walk it in. Your knees are not touching the ground. On the reform, we have something called knee stretches. Walk in, now hold this in. Take your right foot, lift up, teeny pushes. Notice my left knee is still off the ground. Look at the four, my friends. All fours, push it up, up. Up, keep it going, little presses. If you need a modification, go ahead and drop that left knee. But I would be so happy, and so would your powerhouse, if you kept it off the ground for three, two, and done. Bring the leg out, walk it out, stretch it up. Bring it back forward, shoulders down, left side. Walk it left, walk it right, bring it out, bring it out. Walk in. In, out. Now, we are not letting the head hang down. Neutral spine, crown of the head long, tailbone reaching out. We're in, hold, left leg. Here it is, up, up. Oh yes, you can. You're not writing it in, but I can see the little thought bubble saying, I'm not sure if I can hold on to it. You can do it, little pumps up, few more. Go for it, reach that leg up. There are only eight more, seven. Push up, four more to go. Four, three, two, take that left leg back. Right leg, stretch back, lengthen. Draw your heels down, pike up through the hips, pull the belly button all the way up. Slowly walk your toes forward to your hands. Let 
your head neck and shoulders release. Breathe. All right, my friends, it is time to pick the weights up. Now, I know maybe you thought I forgot about the other side, but I didn't. So we have the right leg pushing back and our left leg forward. Pull. Pull. Reach it up. Reach it up. Now, I have a bit of good news for you. This is it. After we finish here, we're going to get a little bit of stretching. Yes, I see that fire. It is fire. Let's go. Pull the arms, left leg forward, right leg all the way back. Look at the shoulders, look at the hips, and up through the belly button. Here we go. Pull it up. I told you Pilates isn't just about stretching. Pull it up and down. Squeeze your elbows in. Here we go. Now it's all about that base, no treble in your glute. Let's go. Pull up. Pull it up. Squeeze your blades together. Make sure your back is strong. Pull. Pull. It's not called powerhouse for any other reason because it's strong and powerful, my friends. Keep it pulling up. Yes, and let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Three and two and one. Release it down. Here it is. Go three and two and one. Now I want you to notice something. How's the left side doing? Do you feel fatigued faster on this side than you do on the right? Remember your mod, if you need to, drop the knee down. But if you can, reach that leg out long. Three and two and one. Check that out. Is one side stronger than the other? That's another thing Pilates is fantastic for. It will help you discover what you have one side. Can you work a little harder? on one side than the other. Do you need to work a little harder? One side and then two more times. Go three and two. And one more time, here we go. Go three and two and step forward. Shh. We're in. Stop then, we're in. Remember, I'm dropping down to one. I'm not being shy about it. <laughs> Take it down. No need to. Leg up, Shh. in, in. Now we're gonna find that balance. Now, once again, your leg, it doesn't have to go high. I'm not looking. We're not trying out for the rockets here. It doesn't have to happen. But we're zipping up, and what we're looking for is the extension away from the midline. So how far can you extend without losing the core engagement? It doesn't have to go all the way up to the ceiling, but straight engage the quad. Reach it away. Press away. Go. Reach it out. Keep going. We're so close. Keep going. Reach. And again. Press. My friends, you have worked hard for almost the full cycle. You're getting close to the end. You're finishing out strong. Two more. Two. One more time. Okay, bring it forward. Run down. And finishing up. Hands on. Come out. Come out. Hold. Now very simply tap it. Right. Left. Tap. This is not the walk-in. Shoulders down. Belly up. Now I'm just gonna ask you for one simple thing if you have it in you. If you don't, no problem. Hold your heart plank. Tap the legs in as you are. Or if you have it, 30 seconds. Mountain climbers, let's go. I'm with you. 30 seconds. Shh. Walk them in. Run them in. Hold it. Whatever you have. Right now it's 20. Last 10 seconds. Four, three, two, done. Shift back, stretch, toes forward, pause, and roll up slowly. Inhale up. Exhale, pull forward. Soft bend at your knees. Have a seat as gracefully as you can on your app. Very nice. Tap your weights, go away. Whew. So good. So good. Take your right leg. Now, your towel, you can use as a stretch tool as well. What you're looking for, I'm gonna turn around for a quick moment, is for your back to be flat 
as you're lengthening your leg. So if this is your flex point, this is your flex point. <laughs> Pardon me, if this is your flex point, this is your flex point. But let's keep that back straight, all right? Here we go, we're walking up as far as you can potentially go. Don't worry if it's here, if it's here, it's here. This is your time, push. Now we're gonna do a stretch called tree, so we're gonna walk down the leg, scoop the belly up, and then walk back up. Get to the very top of the branch, then press push, lengthen out through your chest, reach through your heel, and then walk down again. If you have your towel, you are simply just rolling up and rolling down with the towel. Then press it. I'll do that again. So you're gonna walk down with your hands if you have them or just hold the towel. And roll up. By the way, if you need more length out of the towel, grab the corners. That gives you at least another eight inches. All right, my friends, bend deeply. Take your right underarm and elbow and get right in the bottom of the crease of your knee. Roll back. Let's open out to the side. Take your left arm, reach long over your head, lengthen through your left side. Keep your left side active, reach long through your left toe. Now take your left arm, take hold of your right leg and hug it to your left underarm. Now let's get active through the right side as well. Knuckles to the floor, palm up to the ceiling. Drop that right shoulder blade and continue to stretch. Come back to your center. Roll up. And let's go on our left side. Once again, towel if you need it, but let's extend. Try to stay as tall as you can. And then go ahead and walk up. Check your flexibility. Are you more flexible one side than the other? Extend, lift through your chest, push out through your heel, walk down that leg. And walk back up. All right, my friends, once again, my name is Kari Johns. Thank you so much for joining me. You can find me on Choreography. It's K-A-R-I-ography or Kari Johns. Tonight at 6 p.m., don't forget to join Mike Nicholson. Um, tomorrow, Thursday, walk down on Instagram. You're going to see Tashawn Hopkins teaching, I believe that's a strength class. Um, Mark McCardle is teaching 6 p.m. on Instagram tomorrow evening. And then my girl, Shara, is teaching Zumba on Zoom tomorrow at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss her. All right, come on down, guys. Take your arm out, open up. We have got you covered, fitness. Lengthen your right arm, knuckles to the floor, palm up. Teaching absolutely every day, so got you covered for sure. Take your right arm, hug that to your right underarm. Extend your left arm, knuckles to the floor, palm up, drop that left shoulder blade so you're oppositionally stretching. All right, we're going for that roll up. Now, big inhale up, take your feet on the edges of your mat. Try to flex those feet so they're straight up at attention. Take your right pinky to your left pinky toe without the feet shifting. Inhale up again, and your left to your right pinky toe, stretch. All right, my friends, big inhale up. I want you to exhale with your hands, heart center. Okay, I hope if this was your first introduction to Pilates that you will try it again. And I hope if you've been here before that you enjoyed your time with me. I wanna thank you so much for spending a half an hour here and don't forget to come back again. We'll see you again soon. Thank you again. Enjoy.